Nearly there. I am free. Octavius is out of channel points. I can relax for a little bit, at least. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> it feels so weird to talk. Yeah, like, I know even a lot of the time, the hard thing was a lot of the time, I would say sentences where I didn't need to worry that much. But it's just like, I need to think about every sentence before I say it. So I'm just talking so slowly and so robotically. Because I'm like, do I say the word I? Do I say the word the? Ah. Oh. At least it's over. <laughs> At least it's over. That was a trial and a half. Maybe I should lower it to five minutes. <laughs> Although that ten minutes did go pretty quickly, to be honest. I know I messed up like ten million times, but... I, I did my best to obey the rules. And given the situation, I think I did all right. Oh, poor Sarubi is getting beat up, flinched and paralyzed. Maybe five minutes would be all right then. I'll have a mess around. Ooh. Oh, why the fuck am I using Discharge? He has Bolt Absorb. <laughs> I'm not paying any attention. Okay, Fromantis, um, hopefully the Flare Gun does not kill you. I guess just find Razor Leaf. I'm actually going to get beat up by this Eevee Trainer. God. Oh, Flare Gun did not get paralyzed. GG, Fromantis. I need a Water type. Just like some more type diversity because I have so many dark types. <laughs> um, Vice Grip. Sure. Yeah, I had a lot of fun playing Crown. Um, the little like post game content there was was a bit too challenging for me, and I might come back to it one day, train up my team properly, and try to get a good team comp going. But what I did play, I really enjoyed. Such a cool game. Such a cool game. Like, utterly beautiful, super unique gameplay. Really cool. I went after that, I actually watched a bit of Voltsy's playthrough. And Voltsy seemed like he was really on top of it. He did all the little post game content, did all the quests in the games. He really smashed that game out and had a good team going. Gear grind. I'll happily teach you gear grind. See you later, Jolteon. Oh, Fearion is here. Okay, that makes sense. Fight, I guess. I think you're ghost time. <laughs> I'm probably team Leafeon. Leafeon would probably be my favorite Eevee. Sylveon has grown on me a lot too, especially um, Shiny Sylveon. I'm a big fan of. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Volts. Volts is amazing. Well, I do not like Leafeon. How can you not like Leafeon? Leafeon's so cute. I do think... Nah. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. You cannot not think that Leafeon is cute. Yeah, yeah, like, for real. He is... It's really nice. No, 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 no offense taken. I just do this. Like, um... And he actually, like, enjoys the fan games he plays, which I think is a big thing. <laughs> oh my god, the bike is still spinning. That poor biker. Well, if you are going to watch a Poketuber, Poketuber I would say Voltsy. At least, yeah, for fan games. I don't watch any non-fan game Poketubers, if I think about it, but yeah. So I have to go back to the lab, right? Dude's still not here? Someone's at the gym right now, okay. Let's go back to the lab. It seems like something has happened with Professor Denki. And I will pop another rebel. Fair enough, I guess Twitch streams are easy to just pop on. 
Oh no, this is a dead end. Sometimes Foxy streams, but it's never um fan game stuff that he streams. Okay, up here. Maybe I should have used another repel. Hmm. Back repel. Up we go. Here we go. Not too far of a walk. Oh, why is he glowing? Oh no. Oh, Tomix, I was waiting for you. I have great news to tell you. How about coming closer so I can tell you everything? That does not sound right. Oh yeah. <laughs> Streaming that was fun, but I think I did lose my sanity a bit at the end. Streaming the game Devil of Holly. God, yeah, I think making the right choice back in a way. I said, come closer. Holy shit. I guess I'll have to teach you a lesson. What the hell? This is cool. Okay. All you need to do is get closer to me. Is he gonna eat us or something? More while you sucker punch, you can't use that, that's my own magic. We haven't fought him yet. A UFO? I think you're thinking of something else. At least that I don't think that was me. Maybe if Cade or someone has streamed this game before. I don't remember any orbital brain thing. <laughs> so it might have been someone else like Cade or Thundergar. We've pulled so many Rotoms in this game and they always give me trouble. <laughs> but he is gone now. Maybe you're seeing into the future. Maybe you've got some kind of alien parasite in you which lets you see visions of the future to come. Okay, Golbat. I think we'll change to Clink and Discharge. Chainsaw dude? I know Chainsaw Man. <laughs> a long time ago, we played a game called Pokemon Abduction, which is about people who turned green and into aliens. The dude who died from, <laughs> from Chainsaw Man. <laughs> what? <laughs> like the main character or? Because in chapter one of Chainsaw Man, the main character does die, but <laughs> I don't know if that's what you mean. Right, right. You shouldn't say too much, Octavius. You don't want to spoil too much in case people are into Chainsaw Man. I, I know what you're talking about, but yeah. Um, we will... Train out Fury Cutter. Just get closer. Magneton. Just because that hasn't been made into anime yet or anything. I know what you mean because I've read it, but I'll just keep it vague. Really? Yeah, I, I like the Formantis. I want to keep the Formantis. Also, what you're saying is definitely not in the first three episodes. I'll say that. <laughs> or maybe you're saying something I'm completely misunderstanding.
we'll, we'll just move on from... I'm, I'm a bit confused. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just a bit confused. Maybe I'll DM you later to, to understand what you were trying to say. We're doing surprisingly well against this dude, even though I think I have not been doing well in general in this game. I need to evolve my Fromantis. What's a, is it Leaf Strong? Fromantis. Level 34 at the day, okay. We can do that. 34 is still ages away though. Yeah, it's a fire dark chest spin. What about Aki? I, I know I know the character Aki. But Lunatus I don't think I've ever used Lunatus. Lunatus? Lunatus? So that's why I'm a bit vague on the evolution method. Yeah, so yeah, that, that's exactly right, yeah. So ours is fire dark, the fennekin is fight and water, and then the roki is grass psychic. Yeah. And then ours is a bit more confusing because ours is a shiny, a shiny chest pin. Useless, useless, useless. Oh, we actually get Scolipede already. I did not realize Scolipede evolved at that level. That's pretty early on. It will be nice to have Scolipede. Our first fully evolved Pokemon. The starter is not a guaranteed shiny, but it is um like very high chances to be shiny. I'm not sure what the exact level is, but it's a very high chance. I completely forgot about Morgan. I thought we were going straight into um the final one. <laughs> I was like, wow, I didn't realize he got fully evolved that quickly. But no, I forgot about this guy. Two evolves, I know, right? Maybe a third one? False surrender. The user pretends to bow its head, but then set its target with its hair. Never misses. That's pretty good. I will take that. I like his bright purple pants. <laughs> useless, useless, blah, 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 blah. oh my gosh, what the hell? Bruh! Bruh! What the hell? <laughs> I take it this is what you meant by orbital brain before. This is not what I expected. What the hell? I like the. The Ultra Beast music, if I'm correct. What the hell? Look at this guy. It's just using Psychic, and I'm a Dark type, so that works out pretty well for me. I haven't played this game, I swear. <laughs> I think you must be thinking of Fundiga. Because Cade hasn't played it yet, but Fundiga has. I want to know if I can catch this guy. Let's see. I can't. Okay, so we're just going to beat him up and do our best job possible. Yeah, Funding is... His... Well, I mean, I, he beat this game already, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> there he is. Let's just keep the dark types in so that psychic stops working. Oh, that's a bit annoying. I think, honestly, a sucker punch should finish him off. Yeah, there we go. Question mark, question mark, question mark, defeated. Is this what hatched out of the egg then, and then did it like infect his brain? You mediocre human, you are completely unaware of what you have just done. You have doomed your own species to extinction. 
Brrrr. What the hell? What the? Yeah, my reaction too. Samurai, extinguish that fire. Look at poor Denki over there, just sitting on the side. Atomics, are you alright? What happened here? And where is Denki? <laughs> there he is. Are you alright? What the? Why is everyone here all of a sudden? Did I miss an episode or something? Your lab was on fire. What? Did you, any of my machines overheat? I don't know. I wasn't there when it started, but Tomix was already there when the fire was present. So maybe they know what happened? Do you know what happened, Tomix? A big ore beetle grain started the fire? What the? This is not the time to tell jokes, Tomix. Wait. Do you know something that I don't know? I think I remember now. Tell me, Tomix, did the big ore beetle grain look like this? Big grain ore beetle? Yes! That's not good at all. What are you talking about? This big grain, we call it Brainstorm. And it's not just a brain, it's also a satellite of doom. It probably already sent a, sing a signal to our planet to be invaded by aliens. We are all lost. You are completely delirious. Alien Pokemon do not exist. Then explain why this image exists. It's probably done with some image editing software. Ultra Space. It comes from Ultra Space. But since you think Ultra Space is fake, it will be difficult to convince you. You say that you are a professor passionate about space and yet you consider Ultra Space to be fake? I can't believe what you just said. You need to rest after this recent event. I'm leaving now. You're not just going to ignore the big triangle on the floor? I guess our weird egg just melted. Just melted, huh? Not that it hatched. Oh my god. Tomix, you're not stupid, right? You believe in Ultra Space, right? I mean, there's evidence all over the world that it exists. Yes, you believe in it? Good, good. Now let's focus on the main problem, the alien invasion, and the triangle in front of us. According to some data, there should be a way to prevent it. Prevent, prevent it. Yeah, this thing. Did no one else see this? <laughs> right? This thing. <laughs> but if we want to achieve that, we will have to fulfill some conditions. To start, literally pick up a fragment of what is at your feet. Thank you, someone addressed the weird triangle. A weird fragment. Now that it's done, you'll need two more. Where do we find the other two? Well, I don't know where... Well, I don't know. Do you see any big veins floating around somewhere? And this is where the problem comes in. These Pokemon are literally the key to preventing an alien invasion. And here's a problem that I have no idea where to find any of them. So for now, we're going to focus on something else. You should go and beat every gym leader in the region for now. I'll get back to you as soon as I have more. Poor Denki. The guy was just, like, possessed by a big vein. It kind of reminds me a lot of, um... Future Armor, because there's a whole plot in Future Armor about um, brains taking over the world. I shall save the game, but it's a good call. Thank you, Jenny. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Um, I think now the gym should be open for challenges, right? Let's use a repel just to get us through here easily. I went past it. Okay. Here we go. It's all good, it's all good. Um here we go. One more repel. I don't know anything about the gym leader yet. I don't even know what type they are. Maybe ground type, since we're in a desert? That'd be pretty bad for me, since I don't have any water type Pokemon. We do not need a repel anymore. That's a super cool cutscene though, I, I liked it a lot. Like the, the whole thing, it was choreographed well, it all played out well, the fire lighting up the whole lab, the weird shadow coming out of him, like Denki being chucked to the side. I liked it a lot. A lot of cool parts to it. Welcome to Strand City Gym. I'm the gym guy and I'm here to give you some information. The lead is Ziklon. He specializes in water type Pokemon. Electric or grass type? Okay, I can do that. I have an electric type Pokemon. I have a grass type Pokemon. Let's go. This switch is not yours. It will be mine, buddy. You can't stop me. I'm taking my switch. A 
Oh, wishy washy. Okay, well, if we one hit you, you can't even become big, right? Oh, wait, no. It's opposite. <laughs> you start off big, and then as you become weak, you become weaker. I remember the totem wishy washy and ultra sun and ultra moon being a real challenge. Ooh. Okay, uh, this is weak now. <laughs> oh, what? You're still faster? My poor Fomantis, not even getting any XP. It'd be nice if we can evolve it before the gym. Hmm. That's not daytime, is it? At least Clink will hopefully get some XP. And Clink must evolve soon. Right? Is that the evolution of Sobble? Yeah, yeah. I forgot its name. Gisile? Gisile? Yeah. All these people are too fast! That's alright. We'll, we'll make do. Hopefully. <laughs> the Rubia is a whole ass Scolipede, so hopefully you can just do some damage. And take some damage. There we go. Maybe, maybe. Oh, to be honest, my Pokemon might just not be fast. <laughs> Let's go and heal up. But yeah, we shall try to... Well, actually, it looks like daytime outside, so... Maybe I can evolve... Lunant Lu Lu Lurantis? Um, I'm not sure what ability it has. Ooh, give me a second. 